yesterday at around 5 p.m., so around the time the first game of this doubleheader was finished, Major League Baseball officially announced the full all-star game rosters, at least for now, pitchers and reserves. And, you know, you got to look for the Yankees. The naming of their all-star pitchers and reserves was objectively hilarious timing wise the funny thing every other team had posted like a graphic on their twitter of like a player getting an all-star nomination i was waiting for the yankees to do it and they, they just didn't because of the way the atmosphere I kept checking for it i kept checking <laughs> See, i said those comments are not going to be pretty but you even saw it on, on on the other you know media accounts and stuff but look i mean at the end of the day this is always a trick with all-star in any sport is that the results come out after the votes happen and when these guys look, let's be honest, Cole and Chapman were great for a few months of this season. We talked about Chapman. His ERA was zero for the first one. There was a 0.75 for the second. It's balloons now to 11. And now obviously it makes it look awful for what he's done this season based on his last five outings or so alone. He was all-star worthy up until then. The problem is all-star is always a few days behind, a few outs behind. And now obviously we're thinking the absolute opposite, but still, is he one of the best relievers in baseball? I don't think you can confidently say that anymore. Does he deserve it? I'm going to say yes. He's a, now, I mean, I think he's now a seven or eight time all-star now. He's, he's really been, he's been terrific throughout his career. This, this obviously latest stretch, as you mentioned, was one bad month, kind of doomed him. But baseball, look, it's a long season. Is one bad month enough to make you not an all-star? That's up to you guys to determine. I know, Ryan, you probably would say yes. But look, it's up to anybody to, to have an opinion there. I think Cole, though, is an all-star. Look, Cole, really, let's be honest. I mean, it's only been two or three bad starts. And even the ones we consider bad are still not the worst. I mean, really, this last outing was, you know, the three and a third innings. Uh, was really his worst of the season. And that's saying something when that's your worst. And I think when you look at the, the, the grand scheme of the AL, he's still one pitcher I wouldn't want to see on the other side of the mound. And up to, up to then, he's really lived up to expectations, I think, you know, compared to obviously not as good as his one year in Houston with that 2.5 ERA. But other than that, it's really been up to par with what he's done throughout his career. So I think no problem with Cole Chapman is I think the one you could, you could point your head at a little bit, particularly with how many other relievers there are that could take that spot. Yeah, Cole's object, like even with these bad starts, even like looking at his numbers still, they're still all star worthy. Absolutely. And like you can't say that about Chapman. Obviously, you talked about the timing. I mean, like it could not have been worse. <laughs> it could not. Yeah, have Wednesday. Been it could happen Wednesday. And, and him getting named and kind of, you know, there's a ton of guys that were snubbed, ton of like, what is he doing here? It's kind of taken the air out of me because I've been very vocal about obviously Gary Sanchez making it. <laughs> but to see the all star team and the rosters this year i'm not i'm not like gonna fight to the death like i was because it kind of is it doesn't mean as much when when a rule this chapman makes the team it just doesn't and so he gary sanders objectively deserved to be their top three in every offensive statistic for al catchers mike zanino got it and people always harp on gary people always harp on gary for hitting 230 but mike zanino is a 200 hitter at best so um it's interesting there obviously defense comes into play but i think also at the same time it balances out a little bit uh, you'll have a ton of guys opt out. You'll have you'll have injuries. You'll have people. So I think at the end of the day, there will be you know a ton of these guys that we're about to talk about will get named. I think that's the reality. But yeah, just to go off the Chapman thing, awful timing, and it, it makes it not as significant. Like to see a guy with, and I know you talked about a bad month and that question. And I think for relievers, it is a yes because their sample size is so small. Like your ERA has the ability to implode after one outing. And so I think that, you know, with you don't have as many reps, you don't have as many innings. So I think a bad month when there's only three months, really, I think it does make the difference. And you, you look at the other side of Jonathan Loisica certainly has a really strong yeah. all-star case. Yeah. He has one That's to true. two bad outings. And if you took those away, he's the best pitcher in the AL right now in, as a reliever. So I think like when you look at it that way for relievers, it is tricky, obviously, because you don't, but it, but it's not two bad outings for Chapman. That's the thing. It's a month yeah. out of three months. So I, yeah. Yeah, I have a problem with him getting named 100%. Loisic is a good point, yeah. Yeah, I have I have lots of trouble with Chapman. Briefly on Cole, like, yeah, he's an all-star. Um, obviously, he's helped by the fact that the American League pitching is just weaker than the National League, which um, we are going to – at least I'm <laughs> going to sound off on uh, in a minute. But um, with Cole, like, yeah, I mean, he's had bad starts recently. And I think, you know, Alex, you mentioned, obviously, the sticky substances, which you've talked about a lot definitely playing a role whether that be physically or also mentally which we've talked about and yeah. how I think he's kind of adjusting to that in his own mind about getting confidence back and being able to really pitch and be himself which he can do he totally can do like he, he's a very good pitcher I think it's just going to take a little while confidence wise for him to build that back um since since the rules and, and since that change but I have no doubt in him that he will because he's a very solid pitcher objectively but Chapman and I do have a little bit of I have a lot of trouble with um, I'm not sure of the exact situation with AL relievers. Um, 
of who could have gotten over him. And I know Chapman did have a really dominant couple of months, but for me with, with his ERA where he's at right now and the month he has had, there has to be someone else. I, I think that could get the nod over him. That is deserving to get that nod. The way he's been pitching lately. I mean, if he, if he does pitch in the all-star game, which I don't know if that'll happen logistically, um, I, I could see him giving up a couple home runs in an <laughs> inning or something like that. And really proving to everyone that he doesn't really belong in that game, at least this year. So uh, I had a problem with that. I also had a problem with the Yankees having two all-stars, um, at least just for pitching. Um, and the Mets, of course, only having one in Jacob DeGrom, but we'll get into that in a second. We certainly will. But just, you know, just a quick point about, you know, I, I, I would agree with the sentiment that we that we all share here of, you know, Garrett Cole is going to be absolutely fine. I think he's a good enough pitcher where he's going to figure things out, uh, even without maybe some kind of substance that he re- was relying on. He, he's going to be just fine because he's, he's a stud. He really, he truly is. Chapman, of course, is a different issue. Now, Ryan brought up a point that I found very interesting, which is, um, j- judging relief pitchers by their ERA um, when, you know, they pitch so few innings, I would actually argue that maybe ERA is not the best mm-hmm. uh, statistic to judge them by. I don't know what a better one would be personally, I guess maybe whip. Um, but, you know, I, I did a, a side yeah. note that I think we need to come up with a better way to judge uh, relief pitchers in terms of one uh, ultimatum of a statistic. 